Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna introduce a new friend to you, Tensor Art. Tensor Art is quite unique because you can run stable diffusion totally online, and you can run Comfy UI with better experience. I mean, you don't need to deploy any complicated environment, and also they have a very good community. People sharing their models, and、uh, you can download the models. Of course, you can copy the workflow. Okay, let's take a look, ladies and gentlemen. This is homepage of Tensor Art. If you don't speak English, you can change the language by here, and you can change to any languages. And also, you can change the dark mode if you want. So, in homepage, we have many entry points for creation. Let's just get started with stable diffusion online and comfy UI if you want. And also, you can host your model or online training your own model. And here, we also have the real time generate. So, let's try. And let's try use stable diffusion because stable diffusion is so hard to use if you are running it locally. So let's try this stable diffusion. Wow, this is nice. So basically, we have a history record here, and we can use stable diffusion online from here. Let's see if I want to try a boy with rainy. Okay, we have a negative prompt. If you want to type, this also you can type from here. You don't need to download many models to choose one, but you can just select online one. This will be so much easier for us, and、uh, just choose different style. For example, like maybe like this one, and、uh, the author recommends the following parameters. So we can. Easily choose the correct parameters by the author recommends. That's insane, because if you running stable diffusion locally, you will find it's really hard to find the correct parameters. Okay, you recommend it. Then we can control the、uh, aspect ratio by just click here, maybe portrait, and ignore the rest. And also we can upscale it. We can use other one settings. We can. Use a seed, but if you are very new to this, just、uh, use what I use. That will be very easy for us. And click generate. To be clear,、uh, the ten source art will give you a hundred credits each day, and they even have many activities for you to add your credit. That's very fun, and you can buy it in a very cheap price. So I think basically this is very easy to use and basically free. Okay, now we have our first image. Wow, that is exactly like what I imagined because I'm a fan of the cyberpunk. So this style just describes a a boy in the cyberpunk and in the nice city and it's raining. Pretty cool. And we can check the details of the settings like the key sampler, like the sampler, and also our prompt here and our seed. If you want, future you want to create the same image, you might need the seed. And also VAE and stuff like that are all listed here. And we can even Remix it, or send to image to image, or upscale it. Wow, nice! And sometimes certain portion is not satisfied, so we can even remix it to only that part, and click conform and type your prompt, and you can generate an image. So the rest of the image will be the same, but only that part will be repaint. Okay, that's pretty cool. We can download the image, or we can change it and upscale it even, and click the generate. It will help us to generate it to certain pixels. Yeah, we have two K images and more details than the before, and、uh, this is much more clear. Okay, so this is online stable diffusion. And、uh, let's try image to image this time. So all we need to do is upload the image from here. Okay, we just upload this illustration here, and also let me give a prompt. <laughs> uh, 
And then let's try to use a different model, a uh, realistic one, maybe this one. And use the uh, and use the also recommends parameters. Okay, change the aspect ratio. Click generate. All right, we have this realistic photo just generates uh, by this image. I think it's pretty cool. And check the details. And I think this is totally different. But the pose, but the character, but the clothes is very close to our uh, reference image. And that's pretty cool. So if you have uh, like 2D or animate image, you can transfer it to a realistic style by using tensor arts. That's pretty fun, right? Let's go to another one. Introducing control nets right here in tensor arts. So let's find a model here. I like this model and uh, we can click here, run. Okay, so we already introduced how to generate images right here in uh, Tensort Art. And let's try to use Control Net inside. We have a prompt here, and we can find this button, Add Control Net, right here beside the models. Click here, we have a bunch of the important Control Nets in the world you can choose. So we have an open pose, we have a QR code, we have a brightness. I already tried all of them. But uh, I think this one's pretty fun here, open post. So open post is about to control the certain post of this image. For example, we can make the character running by click here. So every time we generate an image and the characters will follow this post, click conform. And we can change the step of this one and click uh, generate. See, the final works follows the pose that we suggest in the control nets. Perfect. This is how you control the pose of your character in certain pose right here in control nets. All right, let's try something fun. So in control nets, we have this QR code, but this is not the only thing that QR code can do. So select QR code, then we can upload the image. I just made this image right here in Figma. So we have a black round with white text showing the name of the UX bootcamp and click the conform and changing the value. Let's hide our brand inside of this image. Let's try. Oh my God, check this out. We have this beautiful lady with a, a cake, but the cake is like UX bootcamp, but the bootcamp is part of the composition. Wow, nice. I can use this as a poster of our channel. Yay. So I think this is quite amazing. You can try it by your own. What about the Comfy UI? I love Comfy UI. Can we run Comfy UI on Tensor Art? Let's try it out. And also we have a Comfy Flow. Man, I want to try this because I'm a fan of the Comfy UI since it's published. And let's create a new workflow. And we even have the presets of the Comfy UI. We have a text to image, image to image, and area composition, control night, anything you want. Basically, if you are a newbie like me, text to image, meaning you give a certain of the prompts and it will help us to generate an image accordingly. And image to image meaning you upload an image and you modify it into a brand new image. And uh, let's try text to image first. Click the try. And we have this complicated workflow in Comfy UI. But don't panic. I will show you how to do it. First thing first, you need to type your prompt here. The first one. Uh, let's, let's see. So the second text in code is for the negative prompt where I just leave it empty. But if you want to type anything, just type here. And then in the empty latent image, we can type the certain pixels that we want. For example, like then yeah, basically we are down. So click here to upload a model. Models is very important in AI generation because it is the resources of the AI. So we can choose the one style that we want. Maybe this one. It's so cool that Tensor Art allows us to use it online instead of download one by another. That's pretty cool. 
and then we click the run it will cost us a certain credits like 3.2 but every day we got hundreds who cares click it run okay we have our result here it's pretty cool a boy in cyberpunk with red glasses and a gown this is really nice and that's basically the text to image in comfy ui right here in tensor art it's pretty convenient congratulations you finished this episode and don't forget to subscribe us and please click the like button also leave all your questions inside of our comment zone i will see you on the next episode bye bye